Lemons? Don't need. Got plenty of lemons. Good. Arugula? Yes, thank you. I wasn't sure if you were growing arugula. <gasps> yes, we'll take some arugula. There. Thank you. And bananas you don't have, right? We don't have okay. bananas yet. All right. We're going to have lots of bananas pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. I love food. I know you love food, trust me, I love it more. <laughs> I am, I'm a mad woman about food. I spend hours and hours harvesting, washing, drying, putting away, planning menus based on what is coming out of the garden at that moment. This island has a huge amount of food that's going to waste. And a lot of it is growing wild. And some of it is just growing in people's yards, but they're not, they don't know what to do with it. It's more than they can eat. So I kind of got this idea that if I could find people who had too much of what they were growing, that I could move it to the people who weren't growing that. It is not a trade and it's not a barter. And that's very distinct in how I design that. So for example, somebody might have citrus to provide for four to six months during the year. But the moment that their citrus is done, they might not be growing a whole lot of other things. But for the next six months, that person continues to get and get and get out of the circle. So even though somebody doesn't have something for me to pick up, they still get the stop by and they're going to get the sprouts and the kale and the avocados. So it's a giving model in that you give all the extra that you have that you're not eating personally and not giving maybe to your friends. And you just trust that enough will come back around that it will be all fair and, and good. So my passion is to just keep meeting new people and encourage people to grow more things and different things and then just share it all around so everybody's eating it. So we have Simple. been calling up our friends saying, we have kale, we have chard, we have this, we have that. Please come over and help us eat it all. And, and this way, with the Abundant Circle, we actually get something back as well. So it's, it's a very nice arrangement, very creative. And Vicky makes it easy for us because she comes. Yeah. She picks up everything and she brings us goodies. Yeah. So everybody is like us who has little gardens that have more than they can possibly eat, but it's always a challenge. Well, what do you do with right. the extra fruit or the extra vegetables? Well, she sort of filled that vacancy. It's a great program. It is. How's your experience been so far? We love it. We love it. Look yes. at look at we just got avocados and citrus. <laughs> citrus and things that we didn't have and in return we're giving Vicky things that we have an abundance of. So kale and what is the red one? Chard. Chard. <laughs> I love the hugs, I love the smiles, I love the delight that people have when I show up and open the back of the truck and there's hundreds of pounds of things that they want and, and people get to take how much they want. So if somebody's got company coming, for example, and they're going to have six or eight people in the house for a week, I load them up. Mm -hmm. So they've got plenty. Their counters are overflowing. Mm -hmm. How has your experience been so far? We love it. We totally look forward to when it's when Vicki gives me the call, she's got something. And I come running down to the gate. Or if I'm not here, I'll leave what I have like sitting there like that basket and then she'll she'll leave me some things. That's great. So it's perfect. It's perfect. I recommend it for everybody. Anybody. <laughs> Actually, we're going to have most of some of those greens tonight for dinner. I've kind of built a dinner around knowing that we had some fresh things coming in today. <laughs> and the Abundance Circle is very specifically based on a giving model, on a sharing model, and there's no money involved. No, no, no there's no, no money financial involved. money. No. Why have you made that choice? Because that's kind of surprising, actually, in this day and age. Um, I didn't need to make money around this. I needed to make friends and community. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I wanted to find like-minded people who understood that giving food and receiving food was plenty for the heart. Something else that really strikes me about what you do is that you're really weaving this web of interdependence. Mm -hmm. I think in this, in this particular culture, this American culture, mm -hmm. there's such a focus on independence and right. even this term of self-sufficiency and doing it all on your own. And you're, you're looking at how, how wonderful and how enriching things can be if right. you do combine other people into it. Exactly, exactly. For example, my kales are really small right now, but I go to Pearson Juliet's and I have a giant bag of kale tonight. Yeah. To, to make a beautiful salad with. So I'm dependent upon them right now for greens and they're gonna be putting new greens in and they're not gonna have and then mine's gonna be banging and then I'll be giving them kale. 
So it's just, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful circle. It really is. Mm -hmm. And it's taken a while to create. It doesn't happen overnight. It, you have to develop people and get their interest and perhaps encourage them to grow things they're not growing. And that, that's my goal is to expand everybody's growing just a little bit more. What also strikes me about what you're doing is that there's this parallel, this similarity to what people used to do in Hawaii before Western contact with yeah. the Ahupua'a system. Yes. So back then you had these districts, these, these mokus that were broken down into Ahupua'as from Malka to Makai, as we say, from the mm -hmm. mountains to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And people would trade and they would share what they had an abundance of with people that were in another part of the island, say like up on the mountainside, they were able to have an abundance of certain things mm -hmm. that the people at the coast didn't have, but mm -hmm. the people at the coast had an abundance of fish and they would trade and they would share it. Right. Have you, have you thought about that? You know, I hadn't really thought about that parallel, but it really is true because the Hawaiians had lots of free time and they had lots of free time to do really fun things like I like to do, which is like surfing and hiking because they didn't have to scrape for their food every single day. And that was because everybody grew food and everybody had plenty of food to share. If you could see this going in any direction, like what would the vision of this be? My vision would be that everybody has a small backyard garden, even if that's just one four by eight bed, and that they grow very specifically the things they can grow easily that aren't going to give them grief. Mm -hmm. And then they grow enough of it to give away some of it, and then the abundant circle grows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow.